This is my song, this is my jam It's the Mead Wings Up, yeah This is my song, this is my jam Yo, what's happening? It's your host Tinto and welcome to the Feeling Station Midweek Drop. If you've listened to episode 136, you already know how hyped I am about the podcast making its way to half a million downloads and streams. To celebrate, everybody supporting the podcast by buying just one coffee for three pounds. And for more information, head over to the intro for episode 136 and make this the best year that the podcast has ever had. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the midweek drop. And today, it's all about the one that got away. Message number one. I don't have the one that got away because I'm the one that got away due to my toxic trait of cutting people off. <laughs> Message number two. This one is a mud ting. I was 24, she was 33. I met her on a combi as she was going to work. I don't believe in love at first sight, but this one, this one I had to talk to. Beautiful, dark-skinned goddess with dreadlocks. Amazing body. And then in commas, um, this person wrote, she was Ndebele Han. Mm, I've heard stuff about Ndebele Hans. Eyes like the sun, so bright I had to look again. To confirm that I've been blinded by love, so I got her number and we started chatting away. Those days, WhatsApp wasn't that popular, so we texted a lot. She worked for an NGO and she had a two-year contract in my city. She had been through some trauma because of a heartbreak, so having someone young like me was a new experience. I must confess, I did lie about my age. I told her I was 29. I've always had a big body and a lot of facial hair. Tinto, we hung out every day and oh my gosh, the sex, mind-blowing. So we planned life together, went on dates. She was the first person I ever bought flowers for, first person I ever loved. She treated me like a king, my guy, cooked for me. Cleaned after me, made me cute lunches when I was going to work. Apa, it was my first job, and we lived together for close to a year. My guy, I was blessed. Fortunately for her organization, she was working for extended her contract, and the condition was that she would work in the States. So obviously she agreed. I was so happy for her because she had been through the most, and she deserved this big break. However, we both knew that the relationship was going to die after this. We agreed to quit because we both didn't believe in long-distance relationships. I remember as if it was yesterday. I took her to the airport. We shared a long, intense kiss. Before she left, I decided I would tell her my real age, and she just smiled and told me she knew. Don't know how. My guy, this is what women do. (laughs) I said she smiled, and that was the last time I saw or spoke to her. It's been six years now, and if I could have just one more day with her, I would. Truly amazing woman, and wherever she is, I wish her nothing but success. Damn, that was a nice car. The one got away, bro. Yeah, nah, good job, champ. Message number three. To the one that got away, we were meant to be, Sha. It's sad that we met at the wrong time. I miss you a lot. Cutting you off was the healthiest decision, Handiti, but hmm, I still can't get over you. To the feelers, Vedue. It sucks when you meet your soulmate on his way out of his Rora ceremony. Yee. I failed to be the other woman, Hangu. It just wasn't enough. Mud ting. Message number four. To the one that got away, thank you for the good times and the lessons learned. Thanks for calling it off because I wasn't for you. I wouldn't have met the love of my life. One man's trash is another man's gold. <laughs> and then a laughing emoji. Message number five. I know you'll be mine one day, it's just a matter of time. Your wife is cheating with someone I know and I see them together. A lot. I'm just not the messenger to tell you. God will reveal it to you in good time. Then you'll come back home where you belong. Here with me. Mud! Message number six. I'll always wonder what could have been. It's a shame we missed our timing and I wasn't brave enough to take that step back because honestly I feel the connection we had was truly magical and once in a lifetime. I'll always be rooting for you. Signed, a girl who was too afraid to be hurt. Oh, man. Message number seven. Just one? If there were goats, some of us would say we lost a whole herd. <laughs> wow. And that's it. Message number eight. To the one that got away. 
I'm sorry for my actions. I wasn't your safe space anymore. I was a broken girl and didn't know how to heal. Though you are the same and you are the greatest lover, my fears won the battle. It's been a year now since we parted, but I often wonder how my life would have been if we had never met. And as Tinto says, it's better to have loved and not worked than not loved at all. And that's how I feel about you. You are my light, my passion, greatest cheerleader and all I ever wanted. But I believe so strongly that I met you, the love of my life, at the wrong time. Though I wished it would be true, I may have been too immature to admit it or to just tell the universe, fuck it, we are the shit. Because honestly, we were. I will always wish you well and cherish the gift you gave me, but rarely do I wonder how our lives would have been if we stayed together. Not because I never envisioned it before, but because in hindsight, I believe you are for a season and I thank God you made my life so much brighter by being in it. Hmm, that's a that's a bittersweet message. I don't know how I feel about that. Message number nine. I'll always have love for you. A soft spot in the corner of my heart. Silently cheering you on as you go through life, screaming yes as I see you thriving. You make me so proud. It kind of sucks though, but it's okay because I don't think the future has any plans for us. Two times we tried, so I've made peace with it. But sometimes I think of the way you made me feel and how you were smitten by me. I think of how my heart would hum and swing slowly side by side for you. I remember my skin glowing because of you. I cherish the time we spent together. I'm thankful to have experienced love like this. It was an almost perfect romantic story, the best I ever had. You taught me how I wanted to be loved. Hmm. I sometimes think of calling. Not to have you back, but to apologize for not understanding your side. Hey, no, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I will always be here rooting for you as you continue to win through life. I know there's no future for us, but I wish your love was deeper than ours. And now that I'm more grown, I wish that the love you would have for me would blossom and flourish. Mm. Message number 10. Hey, special one. I wish we met at a different time in life, a time more suited for us to work. It's a shame. I wish you would believe more in yourself and go and achieve those dreams you have. I miss you. I miss the friendship the most. I miss how intimately close we were and how grown our relationship was. I miss the moments we stole to enjoy each other too. It was bliss. It was comforting. But I know we can't be friends. Ah, no, we can't. There is too much fire. There will be too much holding us if we try to move on, so I'll have to stay quiet. My mind goes on this journey alone. Like, if there's a chance in the future that would work, maybe I would say yes to you. Just thought I'd let you know I miss you. <sighs> Looks like there's a lot of people out there who've lost people that they really care about. Um, I hope that is not your situation right now if you're listening to this episode of The Feeling Station. If it is, who knows, we might have another midweek drop. But for today, this is the end of our midweek drop and I hope you're preparing your one coffee to drop on the 1st of December. Otherwise, my son is going to be disappointed. Catch you next week. This is my song. This is my This is my song, this is my job.